So for anyone stumbling across this video and you're wondering about the S19J Pro Plus and how to set it up, we're gonna do that in today's video. Also, we're gonna check out how the profitability is currently with one of these things in my hands right now. So without further ado, let's begin from the beginning. If you were to get one of these or are hoping to buy one of these, you're gonna receive it in a typical ant miner bitmain box, just like this. You're gonna be shipped something like this, and once you open it up, you're gonna see a foam top piece right here, just like this. So there's a lot of padding here to protect your ASIC, and also once you take out the top foam piece, your S19J Pro Plus will be wrapped in a anti-static bag. And with that, also, there should be a quick start guide along with that when you open up the box. And then at the bottom is another foam padded piece. In shipping, I've had no issues regarding Bitmain shipments, but dependent on the shipper you use and the environment and, you know, which person you get, the condition you receive your ASIC may be different. All right, next, you place your S19J wherever you are deciding to mine with it. But with that, you need to be mindful of the power capacity and infrastructure that you're gonna be needing for your S19J Pro Plus, or any ASIC miner for that matter. When you're running something like this, this takes over 3,000 watts. Okay, well, specifically, this one's advertised at, I think, 3,350 watts at 120, 122 terahash. So you gotta make sure you have something like this, like a 30 amp, 240 volt PDU, and also the 240 volt, 30 amp circuit to essentially run your Bitcoin ASIC. So make sure you talk to a certified licensed electrician, get them to take a look at your house, your power infrastructure, and run a circuit like this, because you're gonna want to have this in your house in order to run an ASIC miner like this. But this is specifically in North America, you know, 240 volt, 30 amps, and also the S19J Pro Plus here requires two C13 or C14 ports here, and also two C13 to C14 power cables. Okay, so something like this, which I buy these off either Amazon or infinitecables.com, and you wanna make sure you get 14 gauge C13 to C14 cables because they wanna be nice and thick, and you just wanna make sure you have the capacity, and uh, these cables will be able to handle the heat. First thing we're gonna do when you wanna power it on is then first plug in your ethernet cable. Okay, so it's gonna be hardwired. There is no Wi-Fi on these ASIC miners, okay? You're gonna need a hardwired connection I guess from your router or network switch, that you'll need to figure out or have to run wires depending on how you're running your setup. Everyone's house is different. Now, the next step is to plug in the power. All right, so we're gonna do that right here. Right now, you guys are gonna see in real time. Here and also here. And you're probably gonna hear that wind up and it's gonna start right away. So we will see this model I have here, how much power it's gonna utilize, but it's just starting up right now. And so the next step is to get the IP address. So either we're gonna use advanced IP scanner or some IP reporting tool just to get the IP of this Bitmain ASIC or simply log into your home router or whichever router you're using in order to get the IP address of this. So once you do that, you're gonna enter that into a web browser and we're gonna log into the S19J Pro Plus to enter in your pool, wallet, all that stuff to get it to set up to mine. So once you get the IP address and you put it in a web browser, I'm just using a Brave browser here or you can use Google Chrome, Internet Explorer. You're gonna log in here with the username. It should pop up and then you're gonna type in root and then root. That should be the default username and password. Now you should see the web GUI for the S19J Pro Plus. Now, before we do anything, I always like to see if there's a firmware upgrade for any ASIC miner that uses S19J Pro Plus. I am on the Bitmain firmware website and I'm just seeing here if there is a new version. So if I just do some comparison here, Looks like we have Saturday, March 11th firmware 2023. So if we go here back to the website for Bitmain, it looks like there's a March 13th version here. So I believe this is the initial firmware. Yeah, so it even says on the Bitmain website, initial firmware. So we do not need to update this S19J Pro Plus. So now the next step, 
Now, most likely, you're gonna wanna set up your mining right away, obviously. So, we need the mining address, miner name, password. So this is where you're probably gonna look at where you're wanting to mine Bitcoin. And that's specifically gonna be using a website I like to use is miningpoolstats.stream uh, slash Bitcoin. And this is where you can see a lot of different mining pools for mining Bitcoin. I am not saying which one we're, you know, I'm not advocating for mining to one or the other. Uh, you're gonna have to do that research yourself, but in today's demonstration, I'm gonna be mining to Luxor.tech. So in this case, I made an account, and you're gonna have to do that for most of the top Bitcoin mining pools, is you're gonna have to make an account, and that's how you're gonna be mining, uh, getting your you know worker name, address, all that kind of stuff. So once you make your account, for me, myself, I'm in Luxor.tech, I'm already logged in here, and we are going to get the mining pool here, and we're gonna copy that, and then we're gonna paste that into the pool. Okay, we're gonna now get the miner name, and that's gonna be under worker configuration. This is gonna be very similar with a lot of other Bitcoin mining pools out there. So in my case, you know, I wanna call this S19J Pro Plus. You know, you can give it any name you'd like, but I'm just gonna copy this, and then we're gonna paste that into the miner name. And now password is optional, but I like to do one, two, three, as that's the most common for most of the ASICs out there. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Now we need to go back to here, to the web GUI and hit save. And that is it. It's very easy to connect your Bitcoin mining ASIC to you know, a mining pool, a Bitcoin mining pool, and it should take a couple minutes here and start ramping up. So uh, on the screen here, I'm probably gonna show already mining for almost, I don't know, a couple hours, 24 hours, you guys will see on your screen here. And uh, yeah, how much Bitcoin I've earned, just to show you guys here and on Luxor.tech. And yeah, that's it. That's really all you have to do to connect it. Sometimes what I like to do after all said and done, I do like to restart the miner. All right, so at the bottom right of the web GUI here, you're gonna restart the miner. And it's just to, uh, sometimes when you save the settings, it doesn't take effect after until a restart. So in this case, I'm gonna try it here and it should reboot. Okay, so after about, I would say four to five minutes, after it restarted, it, take, it took about three minutes to four minutes to start ramping up. So now here we are. It started now at about 120, 122 terahash. All right, now that's the hash rate after about, yeah, like I said, a couple minutes. And looking at here, you guys can see some of the stats here, real-time hash rate and uh, inlet, outlet, temp and whatnot. My environment is not too bad. It's pretty cold right now. Uh, so I'll show you guys the power consumption at the wall in the one second. But I just wanted to show you guys what is the profitability of this S19J Pro Plus right now. So. When you guys receive this, you know, it, it's kind of, I would say, it's not really good for me to talk about this now because profitability changes all the time. And especially Bitcoin did just drop from 30K to 26 to 27,000. So it's, it's kind of, you know, it's, it changes. Like, like I said, changes, it's super volatile. I'm really hard pressed to show these numbers now because by the time you guys get one or if you buy one later down the road, it will for sure be a lot different. All right, but anyways, just for the sake of people wanting to know, roughly as of recording, so around 12 cent kilowatt hour, a S19J Pro Plus is making around $2.70 a day. This is at 12 cent kilowatt hour, and that's mining something called Digibyte, okay? Obviously, there are actually a bunch of different uh, SHA-256 coins, BSV, HDR, LEA, uh, DGB, of course, BCH, and Bitcoin. Right, so mine the ASIC here is gonna show, you know, depending on which coin it is most profitable at the time. But anyways, if we go up in terms of electrical cost, it looks like the break even point is gonna be around 15 cents for an S19J Pro Plus. So if you have 15 cents or more, as of right now, you're probably, you're just breaking even on your electric, all right? But if you have anything lower than 15, you're gonna be essentially profitable on this S19J Pro Plus. All right, now I'll show you guys the power at the wall. This S19J Pro Plus 120 terahash model is taking 3,374, 75 watts. So I have been noticing here recently that when the fan speed changes, the power consumption changes as well. All right, so depending on your environment, how cold it is, how hot it is, 
it's going to change based on that. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. That's how you set up your S19J Pro Plus. For anyone that has stumbled across this video, this video is for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, stay tuned.